Hey there and welcome. It's Wednesday afternoon, October 22nd, 2008. I'm Julie Bedanes and this is the Afternoon Briefing, an update on what we're following here on WashingtonTimes.com. President Bush will host world leaders next month for a summit on the economic crisis. Heads of state for 20 nations will come to the White House on November 14th and 15th. White House Press Secretary Dana Perino said it is too early to say if the president-elect will also attend. Yahoo announced it is cutting 1,500 jobs after profits tumbled in the third quarter. The cuts represent a 10% payroll reduction for the company. It may be closing U.S. offices and replacing them with lower-paid contractors in other countries. In politics today, former New York Mayor Rudy Giuliani is the voice of a new McCain campaign robocall claiming Obama is soft on crime. Tomorrow, the Obama campaign will launch a robocall to counter McCain's, hitting him on having, quote, a dishonorable campaign. Tomorrow in Washington, the Senate Banking Committee holds a hearing on the U.S. credit markets. FDIC Chair Sheila Barr and the Interim Assistant Secretary for Financial Stability, Neil Kashkari, will testify. On the campaign trail tomorrow, Barack Obama stops in Indianapolis on his way to Hawaii to visit his sick grandmother. Joe Biden will be making stops in North Carolina. John McCain will be in Florida, while Sarah Palin makes stops in Ohio and Pennsylvania. And that's the news for now. Thanks for watching. Stay logged on to WashingtonTimes.com. And of course, I'll be back tomorrow morning for the morning briefing.